Teaching Tips. Hi everyone and welcome to another session of Tuesday Teaching Tips. Today's session uh, is another session upon request and this one's going to be all about teaching tips to do with maths or numbers and counting. Whenever we think of maths, we think of numbers and counting and matching amounts to numbers. Uh, which is of course a really important concept um, but there's also shape and measure which uh, is just as important so for the really younger ages so we're thinking of children uh, but you know two and a half three year olds four year olds early years children um, one of the best ways to introduce numbers generally is through stories so some of our favorite stories are one ted falls out of bed uh, this is by Julia Donaldson, then we got The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle, and then this really cute book called The Counting Cockatoos. So maths learning starts really, really early. It can start um, through stories, uh, and of course, as many of you know, it's maths is just everywhere in everyday life, so you can always bring up numbers and counting and shape. So we've covered books and another great way of learning numbers is obviously through songs and um, there's a lot available on YouTube and online uh, but there are still some that, that your children can learn with you like for example one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. So this is one of the ones that I like using a lot with my kids and what we do is we use our fingers uh, and we lift up each finger as we're saying the numbers and then we carry on once they're ready to six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I let it go again. At this stage, it would be great to have some number flashcards. I made my own, really easy, really colourful, and I made them bigger than normal card sizes. So you can uh, sing the songs with the number flashcards or without the number flashcards. Obviously, it's it'll be great that you're pointing to each number as you're singing. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Uh, and then the children start recognising which number means which little doodle on this card uh, because they otherwise they don't really understand that a number rep is represented by something uh, of course this then brings me on to my next point so matching amounts to number is one of the best ways to understand that uh, each number is different and some numbers are bigger and some are smaller for example they'll be able to see that five is actually bigger than four uh, and because five has more stars so you'd actually count it out with them and you could put them together and see which one has more as well so very visual so this would be a really good way to introduce number with your children and have them sort of line up the stars like this so they can see which has more. And this is what maths really is. It's also getting used to the language like more and less and bigger and smaller and things. And then this is why books like The Very hun Hungry Caterpillar work out perfectly for um, the early years. So on Monday, eight through one apple and then there were two pears and three plums and so on. Uh, the next stage for us would be uh, once they've understood amounts and number, I would then focus a little bit on ordering numbers. So see if they could order all these numbers in the correct order. Um, showing me that they uh, understood the concept of number as well. And there's no problem at all introducing them to songs uh, like Zoom Zoom Zoom, uh, where the numbers are, uh, you're counting backwards uh, before you launch the rocket. Uh, very early crafts that we did uh, related to number and to the very hungry caterpillar. Like I said, I brought, uh, introduced this book uh, when we first started looking at number and the children finger painted the caterpillar which grew in size as the number increased. And then here's another one that we did. This was again linked to the song uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Once I Caught a Fish Alive. So I drew five sort of fishing nets and then we cut out these fish shapes. I don't think the children did it at this stage and they stuck on the correct amount. If anyone's wondering about um, writing numbers, you might find at this stage if your uh, child's uncomfortable using pens or they're just about mark making, I wouldn't worry so much. You can also show them numbers through a uh, sponge stamp. I also like to do these fine motor crafts, like uh, I wrote out the numbers here uh, just by pen and the kids had to use little pieces of string and attach it with glue and you can do the same with Play-Doh and Play-Doh mats as well. This spider's web craft uh, is really great for your ordering numbers activities. So here, number one's here and number two's there. This one's great for like sort of lacing skills. And so some of you may look at this and see it as a, just a lacing activity. But for me, once I add the numbers, this is my maths activity for me. Uh, and it works perfectly because you're combining two areas of learning. 
Other great activities are colour by number. There's loads of colouring books available that you can just buy at pound shops or there's sheets that are, there's this one over here I found on Twinkle. Uh, so it's great for learning numbers and colours at the same time. Here's another great idea for ordering numbers, putting the crocodile's teeth in the right order. So just creating some context for learning as opposed to just let's put the flashcards in order. And over here, the children, they won't be able to write then. So they use the number stickers that we provided them uh, with and they counted out the mini beasts and then stuck the correct sticker next to them. You can also uh, utilize Lego blocks. So these are the bigger Duplo uh, blocks that we had uh, when they were a little bit younger. And I stuck stickers on, I can't find the rest of the pieces, but stickers on some of these blocks, ordered one to 10 for them to make towers. Uh, IT related resources, apps and games that you can find online. I'm still doing a little bit of research on uh, good apps and I want to sort of take my time uh, giving feedback on that. A few websites that I've mentioned already on my Instagram page. So ICT games, which I'll show you in a moment, and then Top Marks, which actually takes links to the ICT games. So I like that they categorize it by years. So three to five years, what we're looking at today. I'll just take you through some of the games. So there's some great counting games. So if we have a look at Teddy numbers, get to decide how many numbers, I'll just say numbers up to five, give Teddy one cake, so we just drag the Teddy's cake across Yummy. and check, so there's quite a few to look through, this is a really nice one that Hippo was playing just a moment ago uh, about the gingerbread, gingerbread man's buttons and how many and then she would count them and then press the correct uh, numeral, she isn't quite at the stage where she can write her numbers so these are perfect that we've included in our uh, maths tray which I think I might have showed last time I did a video uh, it's this simple activity that I printed and laminated from twinkle count the amounts and peg the numbers so it's something that uh, my youngest could just do by herself but you can also start questioning and asking your kids about which it has more and which is less to bring in language like that as well um, you know so they understand the concept of the value of each number and has they also make these really quick and easy sort of uh, number popsicles so uh, each popsicle at the end will have the number and a little square representing the amount you can actually make these with your kids if you want uh, or just have it ready for them um, for shape I've always introduced it through games so uh, since tomorrow is uh, about three I think we've brought some of these games here so we've got a really nice shape size and color so you'd match these little shape pieces to the pictures these are actually uh, uh quite new these are a gift that were given to the girls um and then you know making pictures with shapes so they're quite nice and there's i don't think these are the matching sheets but you can get sheets like that or diagrams telling you how to do it and i also really like this uh, abacus style game um i'm going to show you what it is it's so cool it's with varying levels so these are the sort of more complicated ones over here uh, but the easy ones start off like this so matching uh, the red circle to number one so I've labeled these so that we can also recognize number and shape also so handy if you can get your hands on some shape foam stickers or just some shape stickers because you can make all sorts with them I think in the past Amara's made a, a mosque shape made a little person looks like a little elf um, and as you're working through the the um, you know the stickers you can actually say oh look there's a blue circle or ask them as they're working through what color is this what shape is this and that's it i've also got this um colors and shapes poster that i brought a long time ago from england so i have it up on the wall so it's a reference point for when we're looking at shapes and here's another one i've got for counting um, well. for measure we've been um covering a few different things so we looked at time uh, in the past and we've looked at o'clock and we've played what's the time mr wolf and games like that to make it easier for them and enjoyable so used uh, these little flashcards. there's a few in there um, from twinkle about full and empty and half empty and half full and things like that when we've done water play we've done a little bit on heavy and light so there's a wooden brick there and a light feather generally when most of uh, our measure has been used in the kitchen when baking so it'll be like we need one cup of this or we need two eggs or we need a certain amount of grams of flour and the children will check with me on the I've got an electric scale so a lot of the language relating to measure is used in the kitchen I find and also when we're looking and comparing things like even measuring the length of something we still need to work a little bit more on length 
But we have looked at, for example, our beanstalks and how tall one of them is and how short. So today I've covered with you um, the topics of number, shape and measure in the maths uh, area of learning for the early years. And the early years are mainly uh, three to five year olds. And um, yeah, so it's quite basic. And slowly you'd build up on writing the numbers. And once obviously they can write numbers, you can bring in a couple of worksheets here and there as well. But at the beginning, it's very practical and it's full of play. A learning area or a playroom or an area where you can use, um, I would suggest having a little table or a tray ready full of um, maths activities that your child can just access and, you know, work through.